Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for another video. This is Coco from Planning with Coco. Today I am going to be doing a um, planner setup, I guess. Basically, I'm going to be taking all of this off and putting it on red discs. And then I'm going to be switching out my scrapbook paper with some Christmas scrapbook paper. Um, I kind of did, I got this idea from um, Happy to Plan. Um, Desiree um, she did this and I thought it was a really cute idea I could not find big fro a big frosted cover anywhere like within a reasonable price because I'm super cheap so I went to Dollar Tree and I bought a cutout um, from Etsy and just used a cutting mat to make my frosted cover and it's been holding up pretty well um, and I really like it. So hopefully it'll hold up through Christmas as well because I plan on doing this same thing I did for fall for Christmas. So first things first, we're going to take all of this apart. I will speed through this part just so you don't have to sit in agony and watch me take everything piece by piece out of here. Oh, real quick before I it is bent it did bend um, but it's okay and it is scuffed up but I mean it's a cutting board so I didn't have high expectations um, before I do this I need to take the discs off of my mini because I want the red discs so um, I am gonna do that and I will speed through this process as well. But before I do speed through, I always start with my covers. And then I put the discs on. And I'm just going to switch it over to black metal discs. I don't have any gold metal discs. I kind of wish I did. I used to, but I sold them in a D stash. And now I'm like, man, I wish I would have kept them. But, I mean, it is what it is. Black will be fine. So, um, anyways, now that they're on the discs, um, I can transfer everything over and I'll speed through that part. That is done. Um, and I don't like it as much without the red discs, but like I said, it's just for a little while the black discs will do. So I can set that to the side. Now, this is a little tricky because these are very flimsy. Like I said, it's a cutting board, so um, getting everything to fit on here is going to be a little bit harder to do. But I think we can make it work. I'm missing a red disc. Hold on just a second. I found it. I got scared for a second. So, we will take this out and we'll just toss that. Um, I had intentions on putting more things in here and I never did. Um... So we're just going to take those out and toss that. I will be trying to add some Christmas things into that. But now I'm just going to transfer everything over. And like I said, I'll speed through this part. Now that is all done, I can set these discs to the side. This was my fall bucket list, and this was my Halloween movie night. And this is, um, I can take these out, because I don't need those. Um, this is my birthday list, 
and then this was my paper so I don't need the scrapbook paper anymore but I will keep my birthday list Now I'm going to take this piece of paper and use it to measure my scrapbook um, paper that I have picked out. So the scrapbook paper that I have picked out for this cover is this one that says home for the holidays. I think it's really pretty. I think the red is going to look good with the discs. And then on the back, um, I'm going to tape this one so it'll, it'll look like this when you flip it over. And then I have this one for my back cover. And then the same here, I'll tape it so um, it'll look like this. So... I'm going to trace these out. But I want to make sure I get this centered. Grab a I guess I'll grab a pen and make my mark here. And here. So let's cut that out and see. I have another one of these pages so just in case it doesn't work out then I can use the other one but I'm just gonna take my Amazon basics paper trimmer which if you've heard me talk about this before it sucks I don't like it it's it moves a lot um, it drives me insane I can't stand it but it's the only one I have. I bought it when I first started planning, and I bought it because it was cheap, so. And I did not cut that completely straight so let's try again I'll cut that extra off and then okay so that looks okay let's take these scissors and trim this up a little bit extra can go in the trash I'll just throw that in the floor and vacuum later so now make sure I do this on the right side we want to measure this out course I color on it. Why should I expect anything less 
Um, that wasn't lined up all the way. That's because this is not straight. Okay, let's try this again. See if I can do this. So there's that. So let's tape these together and then punch them. And um, that didn't line up right. I'll cut it after I tape them. Let me tape them together first. Okay, that didn't line up like at all. Let's cut this off. I might have to redo this. this I maybe didn't cut it right I don't know I'm not very good at this I can't measure I'm not very good at measuring is what I'm trying to say I almost said a bad word Hopefully the other side won't be so difficult to do. think it's gonna have to do so let's get the hole punch And move this 
out of the way. Put this back. Yeah, I'm off by a lot, like, a lot. But I don't think it's going to matter that much because, well, I don't know. It does bother me a little bit, but it's still cute. I think it'll be fine. So let's go ahead and do the back side now. And we'll just use this piece of paper to measure the back side. So let's see. Okay. Grab the paper trimmer. Hopefully my measuring will be way better this time than it was the last time. Because if not, we're going to be in trouble, y'all. Not really, but... was a clean cut. Let's see if I can get another clean cut. Not so much. But that's okay. So it's going to look like this. to measure this top corner. Let's see. You might hear a little boy in the background hollering at me. Okay, I had to have a little conversation with my boy, but um, so now I'm going to tape these together. And hope for the best. Okay, this one's lined up a little bit better. Let's cut this extra off. Okay, so this one is going to be hole punched this way.
Okay, so there's that. Um, I think it's super cute. I really like it. I think even though I didn't cut it very large, um, I probably should have cut it just as large. You know what I should have done is traced these. I should have traced these instead, and I didn't do that. But what's done is done. That's okay. You learn from your mistakes. It still looks cute. I don't mind being able to see the dividers. Um, so now I have this sheet here that's going to go right in here. And I have this. I'm wondering if this Joy Cheer Love sticker will fit. Let's see. I'm just going to use scissors to cut it out. It is just a little bit too big, but I think too long. There, that's better. So that's a starting point. Um, let's see if we can take this Okay, so we're going to have to cut some off of this as well. I'm going to use my paper trimmer for this. too tall so let's cut it right here let's see if that fits Mommy. yeah there we go that's cute Okay, now I'm going to take, I don't know, that's all I got so far. I'll see, I'll have to dig through my scrap of paper and see what else I can find. Um, but I think we're off to a good start and um, if I ever get this finished, then I'll show you. Um, so, anyways... 
Don't forget about the 12 Days of Christmas giveaway um, that I'll be doing starting on December 12th. It um, is coming up soon, so uh, stay tuned for that. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to reach 2,000. Oh, goodness, I'm not even that close. 200 subscribers before the end of the year. And then I'll be doing another giveaway. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that um, as well. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching.